to make sure that none of us have to go out and worry about whether our family or friends happen to be there in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tonight, dozens gathered on the steps of Portland City Hall to call out domestic terrorism after the mass shooting in El Paso, Texas last week. What we saw in El Paso was a, a man who, like many others, had written a manifesto about why he had murdered all these people in Walmart, and it was grounded in white supremacist ideology. Diane Russell organized this protest with the Maine Gun Safety Coalition and Moms Demand Action, a grassroots group fighting gun violence. They hope their actions catch the attention of Maine lawmakers. And if they stay silent, we vote them out. Yeah. Not only are we not addressing the mass shooting issue writ large, but we are also not addressing domestic terrorism. What we want to do is to see our delegation in Maine actually stand up against domestic terrorism, specifically rooted in white supremacy. Jonathan Tracy, the former deputy director of anti-terrorism and homeland defense, addressed the crowd. He says it's time for the government to focus on tracing and tracking domestic terrorism. I think there is a way that we can talk through it and develop a, uh, a system of protection that is actually effective. Doing nothing is not the answer. Although the task of reducing gun violence is daunting, demonstrators say they're heartened by the response and support of the community. Uh, if there's any light to come out of something so tragic is that there's so many people that care about this issue, want to fight back against uh, what's happening in this country, the scourge of gun violence, the scourge of mass shootings, come together, work together uh, as a community, as Americans, as patriots, and, and uh, so we take some heart in that. In Portland, Cameron O'Brien, News Center, Maine. Organizers of the protest urged people to call Maine lawmakers to ask them to support gun safety legislation, such as universal background checks.